In the last episode, we talked a lot about being a sellout. Just my thoughts about it, my opinions. I'm really getting deep with this Minecraft episode. I usually don't, but this episode I'm getting kind of deep with it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. It's kind of an interesting concept to me because I've been seeing a lot of talk about YouTubers being sellouts lately. And to me, being a sellout doesn't necessarily mean that you got ads in your videos, etc, etc. Of course, that's easy to say because obviously I have ads in my videos, but when it comes to being a sellout, it, to me, it means something totally different, and it's not a bad thing, but whatever. You guys clearly got the point from the last video as I rambled on about it for 10 minutes straight. Uh, and my damn pickaxe broke, but luckily enough, we have nothing. <laughs> oh, God, we really need resources. Well, whatever, let's, let's just put this water in there while we're at it. Okay, so, let us do this thing. Do this thing in the damn range. Okay. Okay. I hope this crop works out. Um. Oh God, that failed. Uh. Okay. Boom. We got it. Wait. Wait. No. 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 Perfect. All right. There we go. So, let's do this thing. Um. Yeah, I wonder what topic I should talk about this time. Since we're still doing filler stuff, we're not doing any main stuff in Minecraft right now at the moment. We're just fixing up this farm. So what should I talk about now? Um, oh wait, wasn't I going to tell you guys a story? Okay, anyways, I had a story that I was going to tell you guys beforehand about a recent person who had messaged me on Skype. Let me tell you this tale of this guy, right? So now, first off, this guy is someone who wanted to have a Pokemon battle with me for a long time. But he was one of the people that were doing it kind of in an irritating way. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be totally honest. I'm not really feeling Pokemon black and white right now because X and Y is looking so sexual. So I'm getting ready for that. So my patience with X and Y is kind of dwindling. I mean, my patience for black and white is kind of dwindling. That's why I haven't been uploading battles as frequently because I still find it fun. But to me, it's not as entertaining anymore because I know what X and Y is bringing. I want to play X and Y, you know? And plus, 5th gen, I'm tired of it. So, I haven't been uploading battles as much. But, people still ask me for battles because it's like, okay, whatever. I've been playing battles for five years now. Five years straight. So, can you guys sympathize with me when I say that uh, I'm kind of seasoned to the game at the moment? So, to me, it's no big thing anymore. I don't really have anything to prove anymore. That's why I'm not really taking it all that real. But in X and Y, that's when the battles will get real. So, wait for that. But anyways... So, somebody was messaging me asking me for a battle, constantly, you know? And that I can understand. This was originally a Pokemon channel, so it's like, whatever. This still is a Pokemon channel. This is a gaming channel, period. Boom. So, anyway, so this guy really wanted a match, and it's like, okay, dude, uh, I'll, I'll give you a game. And I battled him once, and then suddenly, from there, he took the, he just took the free reins and think that I was one of his best friends. And I'm not saying that I don't want to be your friends. I'm not saying that I don't want to be close to you guys, but you know, some people, if you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. And this was a clear case of that. So anyways, after I battled him, he wanted me to promote him on my page, to, to have him in my, in my featured channel section. And to me, that's asking a lot, especially when you don't know me, you know? Like, to me, that's asking a lot of stuff. And so I was kind of like, you know, dude, I mean, I felt bad about it. I kind of felt bad because the guy, he really wanted me to promote him, and he was giving me excuses like, oh, when you started, you needed help too, and people gave you help. Well, the thing is, is that they weren't, I wasn't begging people. Like, I was not begging. I just simply would ask sometimes, and if they said no, then okay, whatever, I would deal. But I wouldn't constantly annoy the person and rip, make them want to rip their brain out. And that's exactly what this guy did to me. So, anyways, so now the guy's all like, oh, you know, we had that great battle. Can you please put me in your featured channel section? The excuse that really made it sting to me was the fact that he was like, oh, we're in the same partner network. We're both in curse. Or rather, he wasn't even in, in Curse. He was applying for Curse, and he was hoping that he would get into Curse. But he wasn't with them. So he was all like, please, dude, you have to. You have to help me. And I'm like, oh, God. All right, fine, man. You know, even though we only met like two days ago and just had a Pokemon battle, but whatever, it's fine. And, you know, I wanted to... The guy seemed like he was really desperate, and I was like, you know what? I feel bad for this fucker. Let me just help him out. So I did just that. And, oh, man, I don't have a problem with helping people. I don't. If you really need the help, I don't have that much of a problem with doing so. But here's what really grinded my gears. Less than three days later, less than three days later, the motherfucker comes on and he's all like, oh, 
My channel may be shutting down soon. I need donations from you. Are you what? Let me tell you, this guy's statistics, he had 1,400 subscribers, and you know, he was doing this thing. I'm not hating on him for that. I was at 1,400 at one point. I'm at 5,600, no big difference. But the guy was asking for donations from his subscribers. And let me tell you, this is all true story. This is all a true story. If you want to know who this guy is, you can message me on my Skype, I'll let you know. But this is a true story, man. So then this dude, he comes onto my Skype and he's all like, Oh, you know, really, I need some kind of money from you, man. You have money. I know you have money. You have subscribers. You have fans and all that. I'm like, dude, you know, you're getting kind of forward here, you know? Like, come on, man. And so then, oh, man, and guys, it did not end there. Here's what pissed me off the most, the way he treated his subscribers. Holy crap. This is what, this is what angered me. This dude comes through, and he's all like, oh, my subscribers... Uh, you've all been watching my content. I've been making videos for you for so long. I need any help I can get from you guys. I need donations of anything. My channel's going to be shut down soon. I'll have to actually get a job if you don't donate. And I'm just sitting there like this motherfucker. Like, uh, you, you cannot be serious, man. And so then he's asking his subscribers for money, asking them for money, begging for money. 1,400 subscribers. And the guy gets like, uh, he gets like 12,000 views a month. So his, his channel's doing pretty okay. And he's asking his subscribers for money like that, you know? Begging for money. Begging. And like I said, it's not necessarily what you say, but it's how you say it. If he had had a better approach to how he was talking to his subscribers, maybe it would have come off as better in my book. He was begging and just, and not only that, but he was guilting them into donating, right? He was saying, I've uploaded all this con- What if I said to you this? What if Etika said to you, Yo, dudes, I've been uploading videos for you guys for months now. You have to give me money. If you don't give me money, you're not a real fan. You're not a real subscriber. Get the fuck off my page. You don't even belong here. You don't, you're not, you're not, you're not part of the Etika World Network if you don't give me money to help keep me afloat so I don't have to get a job and work for a living. What if I said that to you? You want to bet how many subscribers, how many fans, how many loyal people who have watched your videos and supported you up till now will stop? You don't owe your subscribers anything. You don't owe, like, 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 oh wait, excuse me, I got that sentence wrong. Erase that part. I got that wrong. Your subscribers don't owe you anything. They don't owe you anything. If they're subscribed to you, they've been supporting you. They don't just, they, they don't, they don't, that pissed me off so much, man. Talking about, oh, you're my subscribers, you know? You have to give me money. I've uploaded videos all the time. It's like, no, you fucker. Your subscribers don't owe you anything. They've been giving you what they're supposed to be giving you. Your views, your, your promotion, your likes, your comments, that's all you need. If you're really that desperate for money, that desperate for views, that desperate for stuff, he's, it's so unorganic, man. It's so unnatural. Like, how dare you talk to your subscribers like that? If I was a subscriber to him, I would have been pissed. How dare you talk to me like that? You, you really want to make me feel bad for not being able to donate money to you. And not to mention that you play Pokemon as the main thing on your channel. Half of your subscribers are 13 years old or less, you know? Half of your subscribers haven't even gotten their dicks wet yet. And you want money from them. And then, after that, oh god, this is what pissed me off the most. After that, he made another video, like the day after. Yes, I think that, that was today. He made the same video today, asking people, Oh, if you're too young to donate money to get a PayPal account, ask your parents to give money money to me please they will give money but I need it I need it so badly I was like you know what I cannot wait till this guy's channel does get taken off because to me that is YouTube trash right there how dare you man I just oh god I'm not saying it's bad to donate to a youtuber whatever but when you do it that way come on dude are you kidding me you're insulting your fans the only reason why you have what you have is because of your fans the only reason the Etika World Network exists is because of you watching me. How dare you talk to your subscribers like that? Oh my god, man. I'm sorry I'm getting so worked up about this shit with you guys. I really am sorry, but that just, that did it for me. I was done. I, I was done. I was totally done after that. It was crazy. It was really crazy. Damn, man. How dare you? How dare you? Like, so yeah, that, and after that, I blocked him off of Skype. Oh, I, oh, you know I blocked him off of Skype. I, um, I took his channel off of my featured page. There was no way I was going to work with a person like that. Not, not some asshole like that. There's no way I'm going to work with someone like that. To me, that was just so wrong. How could you? That's like, that's literally like me saying to you guys, you mean nothing to the Etika World Network if you don't give it money. 
Wow. So yeah, that was what I had gone through for the past few days. And it was really eye-opening, you know? That just goes to show you. YouTube is not for everybody. It simply just is not. I'm sorry, it isn't. I'm not trying to hurt people's feelings, but it's not.